Hey, let me tell you a funny story, an interesting story, which happened to me just uh, about a few weeks ago, two weeks ago. I was working on a piece of uh, Ruby software for one of my projects, and uh, I found out that I need some functionality which I wasn't able to find in any open source libraries. I found some something which was close to what I was um, expecting to get, but it was not exactly what I was looking for. And I uh, asked in uh, one of the Ruby Telegram chats, which I'm using for, you know, discussing my Ruby activities, my programming, uh, I asked them, do you know some library which actually provides the functionality I'm looking for? And they told me that not exactly, but you can use this and that. And I told them, how about I create a new open source library? They were pretty skeptical about that. They said, okay, go for it, but you, you know, similar things already exist. So you're not gonna give anything valuable to the community. Anyway, I decided to create that library. I made an open source, you know, product, really small one. It was Ruby Jam with uh, maybe 50 lines of code. And I put it uh, to the Ruby Gems repository and I announced uh, it on Hacker News. I tweeted about it and then that's it. And then just the, this morning I woke up and I see that I have 55 GitHub stars on this repository. 55 in just less than a week. That's an achievement, that's a success. And I told them in this Telegram uh, chat that, uh, look guys, look what happened. I created an open source library and now I have 55 GitHub stars. What do you think about that? And they said, uh, that's a success and that happened because you tweeted about it or because you shared it here and there. And someone said that uh, that happened because my library got into Ruby Weekly Digest and most probably that's why I got so many stars. They were trying to find an explanation of why that happened. And I can give you a proper explanation for that. That happened because I uh, do that open source libraries. I create them really often and I share them and I publish them and I announce them and not all of them get that uh, recognition by the, by the community. Not all of them, just a few of them, just sometimes. But uh, my recommendation to you as a programmer, you should do the same. You should do the same with all the possible you know, pieces of code you write. Make them open source, make small open source libraries. So there are two recommendations basically. First of all, make as many of them as possible. And second, make them as small as possible. If your libraries are small, if your open source um, libraries, frameworks, jams, whatever in your language, whatever you call them in your language, if they are small, if they're really micro, like in my case, like 50 lines of code, it is easy to package them. It's easy to explain to the community what they are about. It's easy to announce them. It's easy to create them. And it's easy for your users to understand what they are about and to use them. And if you make many of them, if any time you see uh, an opportunity to make an open source piece of code, to convert your code into an open source library, do that. You may be working right now with a proprietary code, the code which belongs to some company which you cannot outsource entirely, but you can always find some small piece inside that code which you can uh, publish as an open source library. Do it as often as possible. I do it probably every three weeks, every two weeks probably, I put something into open source. Now I'm working with Ruby, so I'm making Ruby gems. I was working with Java before, I was making Java libraries. You should do the same with the language you work with. And then eventually one of your libraries will be recognized by the, by the community, by the software community, just like it happened to me today. And you will be so happy and so proud and you will be known as an open source contributor. So make them often and make them small. That's my two recommendations and you will get the success I got today. It's not a huge success, but still 55 stars in less than a week. It, it means something. It means that the, the, the source, the code I created actually is uh, doing something useful for Ruby programmers. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.